hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so here is uh, a little bit complicated and a beautiful project so first of all I took a little bit uh, white glue in a pot then I added some water in it and then I will add this ceramic powder or you can call it uh, plaster of Paris as well I don't find much difference in them but maybe there is difference but for me I'm fine with this whatever it's plaster of Paris or a ceramic powder so then I mix them together to make it uh, like liquid form and then I took a fabric cotton type fabric uh, and I will put it in this mixture to make it completely wet then I took a plastic glass cup and then I will start to put this inside this the reason I'm doing it because uh, it's easy to make the fabric to style from the sides like it's uh, flying up uh, from the air from bottom of the dress it's like f uh, air coming and the dress is going upward so for me it was uh, easy to put it inside the glass instead of keeping it outward style so um, this is what I'm doing now and I will leave it to dry completely once it's dry completely now here and I will remove it from the cup and this is how you can see the inside the cup part the fabric top one like cone shape this is going to be the part of her body as well by adding a little bit more on top this will be like her dress from her waist type uh, side so then here for the structure for her body I will take here two extra paint brush I was having I'm not using them anymore so I will use these ones to make her legs and then here I have a wood stick uh, then I will cut it from the middle from the center to stick it with the hot glue like a triangle shape and here I'm checking how wide I want her legs to be open like this so I made the triangle a little bit smaller then here I stick it with the glue and then I will wrap it with the masking tape or the paper tape then I will stick here the brush uh, from the the white side will be upward and the tiny will be the thin side of the brushes will be down as her legs shape obviously this is not going to be the exact structure of her body this is just a sculpture to make you uh, know that this is somebody and as I said I'm not perfect in making the body shape so I just feel happy and enjoy making these things to have an idea what the structure is going to be so then I will use the masking tape again to stick the brushes together with the stick wood stick and then here I will take the foil to wrap it around the wood sticks by leaving the brushes a little bit uh, uncovered with the foil and then I took her dress to see where the shapes of the legs and how much the legs will be prominent so then I will cut this from the top to put this foil and the wood stick uh, structure through this fabric to bring it out a little bit and then I will stick it with the hot glue to stay on the place
and then from the bottom of the dress where it's empty between the foil and the wood sticks and the fabric I will fill some foil inside first I will uh, apply some glue hot glue inside then I will uh, fill it with the foil to do not make it uh, bend easily or to have some grip between the fabric and the foil and the legs maybe you will find another idea to make her body structure but for me this was um, easy and uh, this was uh, the best option to make her body structure so because we need her legs to be separate separate instead of using a complete long bottle to make her body so then I took here the styrofoam piece and I will push these brushes inside the uh, foam little bit then I will apply the hot glue and of course hot glue will melt the foam little bit but it's uh, better you uh, keep the hot glue a little bit warmer than in having it uh, very hot to melt it fast so once you plug uh, the hot glue then uh, bring it out from the electricity then it will be in easy form instead of having so much hot glue to melt the foam so then here it's stuck now you can see and here I was feeling much satisfied that at least the legs are stuck and the body shape is going to be fine now this was very complicated for me the first steps to do they will be fine or no so here I was much happy and satisfied after making her stand on the form so then I took the foil then I started to make her uh, figure from the top as I have been doing in my previous videos uh, making the the waist and the uh, breast shape with the foil so here I was doing this and then I took the hot glue and I I started to give the shape to the dress also because um, I was not satisfied with the dress shape still I want it to be upward more instead of falling down so I will keep fixing it while working the dress shape like it's flying upward so I was cutting some edges and I was checking where it should be fine and where it should be cut here then I will stick her neck with the foil and then I will start to make the head as well with the foil then I will start to cover her um, foil part with the masking tape or the paper tape and then I will cover I will uh, start to make the um, breast for her with the foil as well and then I will cover them as well with masking tape uh, any tape any color here I'm using uh, yellow and then I will start to use the white one as well the, because I, I was thinking the white is much better to use because it was it was going to be matched with her dress so anyway here uh, I started to make her head with the foil I uh, put it inside the neck then I give the shape and then I will remove the head to stick it with the hot glue properly here like this you can see I bring it out then I will fill it the glue inside and then I will stick it back on the neck then the same procedure again for her arms as well I have made in, I made them with the foil and I gave them the shape like I have been doing in my previous videos uh, then I will stick them with the hot glue on the shoulders and I will use some paper tape as well to make them more secure to sc uh, close them from the shoulder sides with the body and then I will cover them with the clay as well once I finish then here is the paper tape I will start to cover the shoulders part of the arms 
with the body to secure them more properly. And here is the face mold I made for the small face doll as well. Um, this is one of my videos where I showed how I made this face mold. Uh, I will put the link in the description box if you want to watch how I made this. Then I put the clay inside to make the face shape. And then I will start to stick it over the foil head. And here it's a uh, time taking uh, part as you have to be very careful by giving the shape for the face. Um, if you don't want to make the face shape exactly you can just simply put the clay just like a round ball or um, oval shape of ball instead of making the face uh, features and those things that's fine as well but for uh, MM I wanted to give her a little bit nice beautiful shape so that's why I used the face uh, mold to make her face features then I took again the clay and I'm sticking it with the neck as well and the shoulder parts to make them uh, one part instead of having a separate neck and separate head then I will covering the from the back side as well the head with the clay And if you are new to my channel, it's really really great to have you here. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel because I really need your support. So I can keep making the videos like this, the sculptures like this. Um, it's really important for me to continue my work for you people. But without your subscription and without your support, it's not possible. So do subscribe, click on bell notification to get the updates for my latest video so you don't miss it out. Because if you don't click on bell notifications and I upload the video, you will miss it out. You will not get any notification that there is a new video for me. So it's really important. Please do it now. And thank you for your support. So now here I will start to make her hairs. I have covered the head, uh, the foil part with the clay completely. Now I am making the hairs. I was just taking a little bit uh, thin glue. I made it flat a little bit thin on my fingers. Then I roll it like curls here, curling type and I started to stick the clay over the head. If you, if your uh, head already became uh, hard so you need to use the uh, glue to stick the hairs on it but for me uh, I was working continuously so the clay was still a little bit wet that's why for me it was fine to stick the hairs clay on top of the head clay so it was easier for me but uh, yeah then I uh, start to cover the hairs from the front and the back side as well and I was pretty happy from the result of this one the hair shape was almost almost same like hers obviously it was not completely like that but I was glad that actually I made it and I was pretty happy with the results So here at this point I was so happy and I was like oh my god she is so adorable. I was so happy with the hairs here because I was thinking maybe I will not be able to make it properly but anyway I did it. So here uh, on the brushes part now I will apply a little bit glue on brush then I rolled the clay I made it flat thin to cover the brush parts to make her legs 
so yeah here I will do for the both legs the same thing from the, mm, the bottom the feet side it's thin and it will be going upward a little bit thick like thighs shape so I tried my best to give the legs shape because the beauty for her uh, this pose was actually her sh uh, legs shape and her uh, dress so I was trying my best to get the exact look and then the same thing for the other side of the brush as well and we'll cover it completely from down to upward to make her thighs as well but for the thighs part I will uh, take uh, some foil instead of using all the clay I will uh, here on this part I will put some foil first then I will apply the uh, glue I mean the clay so I can have uh, uh, the thick ties for her legs from this part here I will stick the foil then the clay on top of this Okay, these are the shoes for a real Barbie. Uh, so I took these shoes to use for her uh, feet actually. Uh, first I was thinking to leave it as it is the clay side but I thought that to make it more realistic, more beautiful, I have to stick the um, shoes. So this is a little tricky uh, once you have made all the clay covering the brushes. So you need to stick it in the front side of the brushes. Like ob obviously for me in clay I cannot make a complete uh, poster and complete leg standing without any support. So brushes like they became the support for her body. So they are on the back side and I stick the shoes on the front side so this is how we will uh, use this thing then I applied some glue inside the shoes and on the leg part as well to make her feet so I stick the glue between the shoes and between the legs to make them stick together as well and to make it looks like the front part it, it's like real it's like uh, her real feet and uh, shoes instead of showing it the brushes from the back side I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm trying my best to make you understand. Yeah, here I will start to cover the um, foil of the arms with the clay. Then here on the yellow part of the tape, I decided to use uh, more white tape instead of having uh, fabric or to leave it with uh, yellow tape. So it was uh, another option to match the 
dress with the masking tape instead of using the fabric on it so I start to cover this part as well with the same color of uh, tape so here on this point I decided to use the same white color masking tape to make the part of her dress actually to I started to twist and to bend to stick the tape from one side and like this by cracking I don't know what's the exact name actually uh, anyway I started to stick the tape on this part as well like to give it the shape of her dress as well here I hope you can see it properly because it was complete straight from top to down to her dress I didn't like this way so I decided to fill this part with the same tape instead of using the fabric so yeah here I started to cover all the sides from front and the back with the same white color masking tape it's like you can say it's now the part of her dress And then here I will start to stick her arms with her dress by giving them position where they have to come. So now here I started to make her dress more uh, styles to give it uh, I started to stick it with the hot glue from the sides where I was feeling it should be more up and then I add a little bit more fabric from the front side uh, to do not make her arms looks like strange from the front side so I added a little bit more fabric once you will start to work on this project you will know from where you have to give her dress style from where it should be more up or having more flares or um, bending upward or downward so this is up to you you will see how you will work for this so this was for me uh, I was checking where it should be more up so this is what I was doing with my MM sculpture okay here I have some white acrylic paint in which I am adding a very very light baby pink color into white color to make her uh, skin tone it's like uh, rosy but uh, not red not dark pink it's like pinkish uh, skin type so I will start to cover her arms and legs neck and face with this color then here I took uh, white tissues and applied some white glue on top of her body the breast part and the to make her uh, blouse actually um, I didn't use the fabric here as you know so to give it the texture for her blouse of her dress so I decided to use the tissue here because it will give the texture 
so I started to cover it from the front side and the back side as well of course then here I have took white silk uh, ribbon which I will uh, use and stick here on her waist under her breast to make it like belt shape for her dress I made it goes through between both her arms to the back side and then I will stick it from the back with the hot glue here you can see now the the ribbon made it more uh, prominent and highlight to the dress instead of having complete tissues white or the tape So here instead of making the white shoes I decided to give it a black color to make it more highlight um, because I didn't make her body uh, exact uh, the color of her body tone exact like her skin tone or the body human's body color so the white shoes was going uh, not going to be prominent on her this color of body so I decided to make them black so I think this one as well looking beautiful this uh, black color of shoes highlight her body figure and her sculpture more beautifully actually so you can use any color of your choice if you want then I'm using red acrylic paint to highlight her lips to draw her lips and remember that I didn't color the hairs this is the actual color of the clay I used so I was really happy because uh, the color uh, was almost going to match with her real colors hair colors so it was fine for me to do not color use any other color on her hairs so here then I started to cut the styrofoam and then I took a heavy uh, ceramic plate it was a pot plate um, so I decided to stick the styrofoam part on uh, top of the plate to make it more heavy to hold the weight so it stays um, on the same place so I applied some glue white glue and the hot glue to stick the styrofoam with the plate and here uh, this is actually optional you can use any style or anything on her feet part on this part of the foam um, grass or uh, stones or anything but for me I did it in hurry the last part because I became really so tired at this point um, so I have to finish it fast this is what I was doing I added whatever came in my hand so I started to use some foil filling the parts of the uh, pore to cover them properly to make it more heavy and then I color it with the golden acrylic paint this is op obviously optional you can do whatever you want on this step so this is my style what I did and here we are done I hope you like the video uh, I really 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 enjoyed this uh, sculpture um, and for me it was uh, somehow perfect and I loved it Stay tuned, I'm bringing more sculptures ideas, uh, please do share my videos on your social media, subscribe to my channel, give me likes and do not forget to click on bell notification for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.